They all departed one after the other, after reading the writing on the ground. When Christ looked up, he discovered, all the people had gone, leaving the accused woman alone. Then he discharged and acquitted the woman but warned her to refrain from sin. That is exactly the duty of the children of God. They are to give peace, love, mercy, kindness, and all the other virtues. When you are cursed, and when you are spitefully used, pray for the goodness of your enemies. Your duty is not to condemn, coerce, or curse anybody but to make peace. Nobody in the whole world has known the Father apart from Christ and nobody knows who the Lord and King is apart from the Father. Now you know the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit is here, what else do you want? Your duty now is to go out and assemble the lost sheep. Christ himself has said in John chapter 10 verse 16, And other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold, and one shepherd. John chapter 10 verse 16. The unification of the world. This is the greatest work to do, that of making the whole world one. Brotherhood is not a prayer house, a healing home, or any other conventional church denomination, but it is the kingdom of God, in which righteousness is held uppermost. Do not beat drums or any other musical instrument, do not light candles or burn incense, do not covet, steal, tell lies or bleach your skin. Do not engage in ritual sacrifice. The only thing prevalent here is joy, joy, joy. God abides in you and that is why we have to mortify the flesh. That is why we do not indulge in any form of medication, drinking, smoking or snuffing. Always listen to him and do whatever he directs you to do. Go into the world and liberate those who are oppressed and deceived. There are many who are deceived, as they are made to dance round stones or dance naked in the woods for the purpose of obtaining life and peace which they never have. It is your duty to go and preach the truth to them. Let the golden text be read again. Golden text, Romans chapter 8 verse 17. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. We are joint heirs with Christ. When Christ resurrected, he met two of his disciples walking along the road to Emmaus. They were deeply grieved, as they discussed a certain topic. Christ sought to know from them what happened. They got offended with him, and they asked whether he was the only stranger in the land, and whether he did not hear Jesus the Christ and Savior of Israel had been slain. They also said they heard he had resurrected. He asked them if they did not know Christ should suffer persecution in order to pass into the glory of his Father reserved for him. Is it not necessary that we should suffer tribulations so as to graduate into glory? If Christ had passed through tribulations so as to graduate into glory, it means we must also pass through the same trials and tribulations, so that we will be saved and be glorified with him. God has come by himself. Those who fall by the wayside, as a result of tribulations have failed. You have been advised in the name of God and our Lord Jesus Christ who will judge both the living and the dead, to preach the gospel, whether in season or out of season. In whatever condition, whether in times of starvation, darkness, or persecution, continue to preach the gospel, because flesh and blood cannot accomplish this task. Do not be afraid of any person in preaching the gospel. Our Lord Jesus Christ said in John chapter 17 verse 19, And for their sakes I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. John chapter 17 verse 19, That is the resolve you have to make for the sake of this kingdom. You have to refrain from drinking, smoking, stealing, fornication, and all the other vices, so that he will use you. Except the tree falls, the axe will not rest. People go to various places and countries of the world to seek for power, yet they cannot get any power. But here in brotherhood, you do not go anywhere, yet you are filled with the power of Christ and you are performing great feats. This is the time for all hands to be on deck for the propagation of the Gospels. This is the time for us to suffer tribulations with him, so that we will be glorified with him. Brethren, it is said, a stroke of the king is sufficient for the wise. Let everyone who has ears hear. May the Lord bless his holy words. Amen. Thank you Father, 